Voice is not clear. Your voice is not clear. I am sorry. I could not hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll check the network connectivity. Hello, sir. Am I audible to you? Yes, yes. Now it is clear. Please continue. Yes. Yeah. A very good afternoon to our today's uh, chief uh, resource person and all my faculty members who have gathered here for the FDP program uh, scheduled for 2021-22. So, on behalf of Yashwant Rao Sohan Institute of Science and Department of Microbiology, I extend a very warm welcome to. Our today's resource person, Mr. Sanjay Savan sir, uh, welcome sir. So I take this opportunity to uh, briefly introduce uh, Sanjay Savan sir to all my faculty members. Actually, the ones like me who have joined recently need the introductory part. Rest all the faculty members, the senior staff knows you very well. So uh, just for all my uh, colleagues who are of my age i would like to introduce you so i take this opportunity to welcome you and uh, would like to uh, convey all my uh, colleagues that mr sanjay chavan is one of our alumni who has graduated as microbiologist in the year 2001 and since then he has acquired a rich experience of about 18 years in industrial uh, microbiology field so he becomes the appropriate person to guide us on the syllabus and he has been assigned a microbiology diploma second year course that is microbial quality control so sir will be guiding us on the topic so once again i extend a very warm welcome on behalf of department and sir we are very glad to have you here with us today thank you for sparing your valuable time for us and um, i request you to start with your session uh thanks madam uh, for your uh, kind warm welcome and good wishes so it is my pride to tell you that i am the ex student of this uh, uh, institute and uh, this institute it is well known in our area rayat uh, based college so all my colleagues are doing well in the field of microbiology stream so we were three boys in my uh, batch and we all three are in good position or working in the reputed pharmaceuticals so um, these are the this is because uh, this can be happen because the gu good guidance by the teachers like uttekar ma'am joshi ma'am uh, wadekar ma'am uh, so uh, uh, that uh, yadav sir deshmukh sir so uh, don't feel bad if i missed any name uh, so uh, without their support and without their guidance chavan uh, yes ma'am i was the one uh, to speak with the authorities when the fair phone came to you uh, came to me regarding you thanks ma'am nice to see you yes ma'am yes i i took your name ma'am i remember you i took your name ma'am it doesn't matter if you don't take my name but i just reminded you, you know, that i was going to speak with the authorities at least remember remember that yes ma'am okay. <laughs> uh, thanks man and nice to, nice to see you on my screen thanks okay. Be because of your uh, beloved wishes we are here Uh, without your support guidance and teaching we could not, could not achieve these heights uh, uh, today i am leading the microbiology section in acg 
and uh, my team uh, uh, is having four peoples and uh, basically i could guide you on the non sterile part because i don't have any experience in the sterility so we'll uh, i will brief you on the, the uh, microbiology in pharmaceutical uh, industry for non, non sterile products okay yes sir so whatever uh, agenda i have got so first is the objective uh, as per your agenda so collection and preserve the samples for a different areas of pharmaceutical industries count the microbial level in the same uh, sam uh, same sample so uh, yes sir please continue audible Sir, you are audible. Ha. So Sir, you can share the uh, presentation. Uh, if you have prepared presentation, you can share the screen as well. Uh, I will not just uh, share my screen. I will share you the brochures or the things or PDF files, all the uh, guidelines to you through the email, uh, because uh, these are very big files and could not uh, share you on Zoom. so i will share all the regulatory or uh, reference material uh, as per european pharmacopeia united states pharmacopeia indian pharmacopeia whatever i have i will share with you after this meeting uh, so i will just uh, brief you as per uh, usp guidelines but because uh, whenever we comply to uh, us pharmacopeia or united states pharmacopeia it is complying to all okay, okay. so uh, what is basic here is uh, usp is uh, or united states pharmacopeia it's uh, having different chapters in for microbial examination of non sterile products under that chapters uh, there are uh, three uh, basic things are given so total bacterial count uh, enumeration of total bacterial count into the pharmaceutical preparation enumeration of total fungal count into the pharmaceutical preparation and identification of uh, specified microorganisms or you can say microbial examination of non sterile products test for specified microorganisms so what are the specified microorganisms these are the disease causing organisms or uh, these are the indicator organisms uh, or group which uh, should be absent in your pharmaceutical non sterile products so uh, these organisms are enterobacteriaceae e coli salmonella staph aureus pseudomonas aeruginosa and shigella shigella is as per ip because uh, uh, in india there are uh, some uh, regions where Uh, uh humid condition is there so in 2018 indian pharmacopeia introduced its own uh, in house uh, uh, pathogen or specified microorganism that's a shigella so uh, if we want to export the material uh, to the other countries like european countries or uh, uh, america or australian australia or japan or china uh, we need to comply four pathogens that staph aureus e coli pseudomonas and salmonella but for domestic uh, supply whenever you want to uh, manufacture or uh, supply batch to the indian market it should uh, have uh, shigella absent in their products so uh, all these test and test methods are given in uh, usp or in indian pharmacopeia or european pharmacopeia so uh, in 2000 Uh, 13 what happened every pharmacopeia is having their own microbial limit test or own testing methodology as per their own uh, gu guidelines so in 2013 all these pharmacopeias like japanese pharmacopeia european pharmacopeia indian pharmacopeia usp all these pharmacopeias joined together and sit down for a single method for microbiology and it, that method is called as the harmonized method so the, uh, this is a common method can be used for uh, microbiological analysis of non sterile product uh, for enumeration of total bacterial count on total fungal count and test for specified microorganisms so initially uh, we will see the qualitative microbial enumeration in products so uh, initial stage of the product uh, testing is sample preparation so there are many types of samples like water soluble products 
नॉन फैटी प्रोडक्ट इनसोल्यूबल प्रोडक्ट और फ्लूड्स और सॉलिड्स और एरोसोल फॉर्म्स देर मे बी सम ट्रांसडर्मल पैचेस मेडिकल गैसेस सो फॉर ईच एंड एवरी टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट माइक्रोबायोलॉजिस्ट शुड हैव टू डिजाइन अ माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल मेथड फॉर द एनोमेशन ऑफ टोटल बैक्टेरियल काउंट टोटल फंगल काउंट एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द स्पेसिफाइड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो दैट मेथड सुटेबिलिटी और डेवलपिंग द मेथड इज कॉल्ड एज अ मेथड वैलिडेशन बिकॉज विदाउट मेथड वैलिडेशन यू कैनॉट परफॉर्म द analysis if your method is not validated or it is not suitable for the identification or uh, uh, enumeration of the count or identification of the specified organisms uh, you have to prove that it it should be uh, valid and it should be u- unique uh, or specified for the enumeration of the uh, uh, enumeration of the count in the product or uh, Find uh, to uh, find the specified microorganisms in the product. Okay, so for total bacterial count, the method is given as the you should have to prepare the sample or uh, your sample preparation should be in like the way that you should uh, take a point one gram of sample into the ninety mm sterile plate, and that is uh, to that plate we should add. Uh, previously melted and sterilized soybean casein digest agar to that plate this is the general medium after addition of the soybean casein digest agar that sample uh, should be added to that plate and it is uh, rotated or tilted to mix the sample well and after solidification of the media agar media that plate can be uh, incubated at 30 to 35 degree centigrade for 5 days not less than 5 days or 120 hours uh, at 30 to 30 degree centigrade and after 5 days you can uh, count the colonies on the plate so each colony correspond 10 count because uh, we have taken the 0.1 ml uh, 0.1 gram or 0.1 ml of sample so we need to identify the uh, s- s- uh, total bacterial count per gram so uh, in sample preparation generally what happens uh, we take 10 gram of sample in 90 ml of scdm so i have been case in digest medium then that sample is dissolved in at water bath at 37 degree centigrade and then point uh, sorry 1 ml of that uh, prepared uh, so sample is taken into the sterile plate and 15 to 20 ml of soybean case in digest agar is added to the plate once plate is solidified it is kept at uh, 30 to 35 degree centigrade for 120 hours and after 120 hour count is taken and it uh, this uh, count is checked checked against specification so basically um, there are different uh, specification for different products like for our product uh, it should not uh, exceed 1000 uh, colony forming units per gram in capsule product uh, for uh, inhalation product like uh, uh the products which are used by the asthma patients the count should not exceed 100 colony forming unit per gram uh, same way for enumeration of the f- uh, yeast and fungi uh, instead of soybean casein digest agar sample is prepared in the same way and 1 ml of sample is prepared out into the 90 ml of petri sterile plate plate and 15 to 20 ml of so so saprose dextrose agar with uh, antibiotic like chloramphenicol can be added to the plate and that plate uh, should be allowed to solidify and then that plate can be stored at 20 to 25 uh, incubated at 20 to 25 for not less than uh, 120 hr or 5 days so after 5 days that count on the plate should be counted and results are recorded like this for non sterile product uh, for enumeration of the total bacterial count on total fungal count there are three types of media can be used which are general media one is soybean casein digest medium for the dilution of the product or preparation of the sample once sample is prepared and uh, dissolved at 37 degree centigrade at water bath it can be prepared out into the two sterile plates to one plate we add so soybean casein digest agar which is general media for total bacterial count and on to another plate saprose dextrose agar with chloramphenicol or with antibiotic can be added for the enumeration of the total fungal count uh, so anything else or any query regarding to total bacterial count in non sterile product please ask
any query if i am going so fast please stop me you if you have any query you can raise the hand or you can ask me eh? you can okay so i guess there is no any query uh, so whenever we develop the method na uh, it should be like i said in early method should be validated so during method validation what we do uh, we uh, have a known amount of uh, standards uh, at our lab so we have bio balls or uh, you can say the uh, uh, single uh, small ball sterile ball, uh, small ball having uh, known amount uh, or known concentration of the bacterial cells which can be de rehydrated into the fluid and known amount of uh, microorganisms or generally 10000 colony forming unit cells or 10 uh, 10000 cfu uh, culture is added to sample along with the general medium like uh, when i want to have a method validation for non sterile product i need to put my product in uh, 90 ml scdm then 10 g of product and i can add 1000 cells of uh, bacillus subtilis to that uh, flask and i need to pipette out that uh, 1 ml of solution and i need to plate that solution and uh, need to check the recovery of the uh, organism so whenever there is method validation uh, we need to have a validation for total bacterial count with five of types of organisms so you can say is the uh, you can say it as a challenge test also so for total bacterial count or tbc we need to have chale uh, did to have check the recovery of uh, staphylococcus aureus pseudomonas uh, aeruginosa bacillus subtilis candida albicans and aspergillus brasensis so uh, this five type of organisms can be challenged along with the sample along with the your product and you should need to check the recovery so your recovery should not be less than 90% so suppose i add 1000 cells to the sample uh, there should be recovery of 9000 cells not minimum uh, not less than 9000 so that can be um, checked along with the product if my ch challenge test is okay or pro, uh, organism is recovered along with my product then your microbial limit test is suitable for that product otherwise that product is inhibitory or product is not supporting the growth of the bacteria so mlt is not valid for that uh, testing of the product okay so that is the method validation for total bacterial count for total fungal count candida albicans and aspergillus can be challenged along with the product in saporous dextrose broth and your recovery should be more than 90% so that in that uh, that way your method can be challenged and your uh, susceptibility of the contamination of the product can be challenged and uh, you can say your method is uh, valid for your product so when i say product there are they they may be of different types like uh, for my industry it is capsule it it may be oral liquids like uh, cup syrups ointments or tablets or field capsules or uh, any cream uh, so products are different for different industry uh, in my case it is empty hard gelatin capsule shells which we dissolved into the uh, given medium and then uh, it is plated out onto the uh, saporous dextrose agar and so i mean casein digest agar so that is all about total bacterial count on total fungal count okay uh, so i will uh, move next for the for uh, detection of specified microorganisms so uh, uh, why there is a need of detection of these uh, specified microorganisms in the pharmaceutical product because these are the indicator or uh, group or indicator organisms in the pharmaceutical product which indicate their pre presence indicates the product is not uh, in hygiene condition or it is not manufactured into the uh, clean and hygienic condition so uh, if you see first organism is e coli and uh, uh, it is a enterobacter then pseudomonas is a water that can be due to water contamination uh, staph aureus is a contamination of uh, human intervention and she
also is a contamination of uh, water type or intro vector type of contamination so as per uh, ep there is one uh, uh, test for uh, identification of enterobacteria so enterobacteria is a group it is not a specific organism so different medias are used for the identification of the different uh, bacteria so first we will start with the e coli for e coli uh, sample preparation is remains the same you have to add a nml of sample to the 90 ml of scdm that is the general medium after uh, preparation of the sample 10 ml or 1 uh, gram uh, sample correspondence to 1 gram sample or 10 ml of sam uh, pre pre sam pre prepared sample can be further diluted or further taken into the next 90 ml of scdm and this uh, flask can be incubated at 30 to 35 degrees centigrade for 24 to 48 hours after 48 hours of incubation 1 ml of uh, that enriched medium is transferred to the maconkey's broth and the color change and gas production is changed into the uh, check after incubation that broth uh, maconkey's broth along with sample is again incubated to 24 to 48 hours after incubation it is strict on maconkey's agar plate and uh, we check the uh, specific uh, color change for that agar uh, if there is any growth so now as per uh, new uh, regulations uh, there should not be any type of growth specific non specific because when we go for the maconkey's agar brick red color colonies are considered as the e coli but uh, sometimes what happen there might be a, a typical growth like there is a growth which is not matching to e coli so uh, as per guideline of the usp chapter number 1111 one 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 you need to identify or uh, that growth you need to check that growth up to species level using some biochemical tests so uh, we do have uh, api kit uh, over here so we can identify that bacteria up to genus level and uh, we can conclude that whether that organism is objectionable or non objectionable so list of objectionable organism is given in bad bug book uh, which is published by usp we need to check their library if that organism is objectionable we cannot release the batch if that the organism is non objectionable you can release the product okay so uh, this is uh, this common practice is for all organisms so uh, i am talking about e coli like you need to prepare a sample sample prepared sample is has to enrich into the maconkey's broth after enrichment into the maconkey's broth you need to streak that enriched broth onto the maconkey's agar and you need to check the uh, whether there is growth or no growth if growth is there it should be uh, checked with standard that typically it is e coli or it is a typical growth whenever there is typical growth your product is failing for that organism if there is no typical growth or a typical growth you need to identify the growth or they, if there is no growth your product is passing to the specification of e coli okay <clears throat> any query am i audible hello 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 sir uh, am i audible ha ah, yes sir because i am going fast no worry is responding <laughs> i guess that uh, uh, it is understood well or it is not understood 100% <laughs> no no sir no problem yes uh, i will share you all the all the details uh, like uh, uh, all the details uh, and brochures or guidelines to you after this uh, meeting so you can collect the things from that brochure okay i have all okay. the references over here and these are huge files so i cannot present or i cannot share so i will share you it offline okay Okay, okay. No, no problem. Uh, next, ha. Next is identification of uh, Salmonella. For identification of Salmonella, preparation of the sample remains the same. You need to take 10 gram of sample in 90 ml of general medium, soybean casein digest medium. Then uh, you need to take 10 ml of this sample to next uh, 90 ml SCDM. After that, uh, uh, that sample uh, enriched sample uh, is taken.
rapopos vaccillae salmonella enrichment broth, which is enrichment broth suggested by harmonized method, uh, enrichment of the salmonella, uh, rapopos vaccillae salmonella enrichment broth. When you transfer the enriched sample to the rapopos uh, broth, uh, your broth should be incubated at 30 to 35 degrees centigrade, not more, for uh, 18 to 24 hours. After incubation, you can stick. Uh, from this broth to uh, XLDA plate, xylose lysine deoxycholate plate. So after uh, streaking, um, the method remains the same as per E. coli. If there is a typical growth, uh, black center colonies are there, your product is failing for the taste of the salmonella. If there is no growth, your product is passed. Or if, if there is any growth not matching to the uh, typical growth, it should be identified and the objectionability of the micro microorganism should be checked and then you can uh, the, uh, take the decision of the batch. Uh, for Pseudomonas, uh, the sample preparation is remains the same. The media uh, selective agars are changed for zero, uh, after enrichment into the general medium. Uh, you can you need to streak the sample directly onto the cetrimide agar. Uh, after uh, streaking of the sample, that uh, plate should be incubated for 24 to 48 hours at 30 to 35 degrees centigrade. And after uh, incubation, uh, you you need to check the plate. If there is a typical growth, your product is pale. If there is no growth, your product is pass. Or if there is a atypical growth, not matching to the standard, you need to uh, have an identification and uh, need to check the objectionability of the organism. And then you can take the decision of the patch. For step or yes, the method remains the same. Uh, after enrichment of the product in the general medium, pro the product is streaked onto the mannitol salt agar. That mannitol salt agar plate is uh, incubated at 30 to 35 degrees centigrade for uh, 24 to 48 hours. After incubation, uh, all yellow color colonies can considered as a fail. There is no if there is no growth, your product is passed. Or there, if there is any atypical growth not managed, matching to the standard, you, again you need to uh, identify the organism up to genus level and check the objectionability of that organism, and then you can take a decision of the patch. For Shigella, as per Indian Pharmacopoeia, um, sample should be enriched in general media initially. After uh, uh, like 10 gram of sample in uh, soybean uh, digest uh, case in medium, after uh, enrichment up to 24 to four, 24 hours, that sample is uh, ca 10 gram of that enriched sample can be taken in 90 ml of GN broth. And uh, after that broth, after uh, taking that sample into the GN broth, you need to incubate uh, this GN broth along with the sample for 24 hours. After incubation into the GN broth, uh, you need to streak that sample on XLDA agar and uh, red translucent colonies confirms the presence of Shigella. If there is no red translucent colony or there is no growth, sample is passed or your product is passed or any atypical growth can be checked for objectionability of that uh, uh, organism as per USP chapter. Okay, so these are the uh, different methods uh, used for the testing of the non-sterile product. So for non-sterile product, uh, four tests are required uh, or six tests are required for uh, basic tests are required for uh, if you want to sell your product inside the India or outside the India. These basic test, tests are total bacterial count, total fungal count, E. coli, salmonella, salmonella. Pseudomonas and Staph aureus. Mm, uh, to this, uh, if you want to prepare product domestically for Indian market, you need to perform Shigella as per Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 uh, uh, as per their latest guideline. Mm. Uh, for all this testing, we require a stock reagent, media cultures and chemicals. So whenever uh, we perform the test, there are some offline uh, things are uh, done into the micro lab. So whenever you prepare the media, media should be autoclaved or sterilized as per the supplier's recommendations. So for uh, enrichment of the salmonella, uh, we use rapopos vessel.
Salmonella Salmonella enrichment broth. So, as per supplier's recommendation, this broth can be sterilized at 150 degree centigrade at uh, 13 psi uh, for 24 hours. For rest of the all medias, we can uh, sterilize the medium at 20 minutes at uh, 120 degree centigrade at 15 psi. And for uh, certain medias like Enterobacteria enrichment broth, GN broth. that mediums can be sterilized at 60 degree centigrade so no autoclave or not autoclave sterilization is suggested for certain medias so whenever we prepare the media uh, we take the rehydrated or we take the powder form media from the uh, different vendors like uh, for us we take it from high media for uh, other companies they take from depco depco is the international brand uh, it is a merk brand and uh, it is internationally recognized brand for the uh, uh, dehydrated rehydra dehydrated media uh, for uh, acg we take it from high media it is nasik based company and this powder form media is prepared into to uh, uh, distilled water and after preparation of this uh, this rehydration of this medium this medium is sterilized in autoclave after sterilization sterilization that medium can be used Uh, so whenever we prepare the media uh, media's validity needs to check so for checking of this validity of the media we have uh, standard cultures like uh, uh, we need to have standard for each test so uh, recently we are using the uh, standards from ncl so we are procuring the slants from the ncl of uh, uh, zero passage and then we do our own four passages as per guideline given into the pharmacopias so as per pharmacopia whenever there is uh, any culture you are supposed to subculture your passages should not exist to the five so you cannot uh, make sixth passage that is a guideline so now there is a new latest technology scheme where we use the bio wall standards so uh, there is a one bio wall uh, which can be uh, uh, that bio wall can be rehydrated into the 1.1 ml of rehydration fluid and each 0.1 or 100 microliter of uh, that uh, solution rehydrated solution with bio wall contains 100 number of cells so no subculturing is required so these standards or cultures are used for the uh, daily uh, validity of the media so whenever we prepare any media that media should be challenged for fertility change and quarantine check so for quarantine check uh, whatever media is used uh, or prepared it should be kept for 5 days as it is as a negative control without any addition so suppose i made a soybean casein digest agar you need to prepare one plate blank plate every day and it should be kept as a negative control in case of broth you need to uh, dispense 10 ml of broth in tube and need to keep that broth uh, to check the uh, fertility of the medium uh, as a negative control up to 5 days uh, uh, whenever there is negative control there is positive control also Uh, these are uh, uh, as i said bio wall are the standard cultures having known concentration of the cells these known concentration of the cell cultures are added to the broth and turbidity is checked for the fertility or the uh, positivity of the media so for positive reaction there should be turbidity uh, for indicating uh, properties of the media like uh, mb broth or rapopus broth there should be color change or the gas production as per uh, standard given uh, by the supplier for maconkey's broth it should be broth should be turn yellow and there should be a gas production mm, for uh, rapopus spot uh, rapopus medium the color of the medium initially greens it should be changed to white and uh, for selective agar uh, if i prepared a maconkey's uh, agar uh, the i need to uh, streak a, a known amount of culture onto the uh, agar plate and the colony should be as per standard like red brick color colony should be seen uh, onto the uh, positive control so when we uh, prepare a stock solution or reagent media uh, or any culture uh, your validity of the media should be changed on uh, checked on daily basis so we have a separate section under microbiology section uh, called as the media preparation section so media preparation section is supporting to the testing section testing section is a responsibility to the test the material and media preparation section is responsible for providing
required media as per regulatory standard to the testing purpose so all these media and cultures are uh, kept at deep freeze so we have a, we are having deep freeze over here uh, the temperature of that uh, deep freeze is below minus 17 and we maintain these cultures or stock solutions at that deep freeze okay uh, any uh, any query up to this Hello? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, another thing is need to be uh, performed into the microbiological lab is the method, uh, like method validation. We have instrument validation also. So whenever whenever we use the incubators, autoclave, colony counter, water bath, pH, and conductivity meter into the section, all these are instruments or microbiological micro lab instruments. All these instruments need to be uh, checked by the external agency for their, their validity. So uh, suppose we use incubator for incubation of 30 to 35 degrees centigrade. What we do, we challenge that instrument and check the validity or ch check the performance of that instrument, uh, whether it is performing 24 hours. So once in a year, what we do, uh, we put a sensors or RTD sensor into the incubator and that sensors are connected to the uh, PLC uh, control device and it, that the uh, sensors uh, put uh, gives the data of every hour of that temperature of the incubator to the data logger and the data is uh, then uh, converted to the Excel sheet. So what we do, we check the uh, temperature cycle of every hour up to 24 hours of each instrument uh, by the uh, engineering practices whether our incubators are giving the um, uh, proper temperature incubation temperature to our uh, incubated material or incubated samples so that is also mandatory as per ICH guideline you need to map have a mapping data of your incubators up to 24 hours at uh, each inter each hour interval and you need to um, prove that your instruments are calibrated and in working condition for laminar airflow we do dop test or uh, filter integrity test by uh, uh, dop then we check the air velocity to uh, check the uh, air changes under laminar airflow then uh, uh, same way we do the uh, calibration of pH and conductivity meter uh, by external agency to uh, check the whether the performance of the pH and conductivity meter is pro uh, proper. So uh, whatever instruments we are using into the micro lab, they, are, they should be uh, calibrated and should be challenged by external agency and can be proved by the uh, organization uh, to the auditor that these instruments are in working condition and giving the right results and it should be done by external agency. Okay. Uh, whatever methods I have given uh, or explained over uh, this my lecture are the our methods. So uh, in, if you refer the USP, you can have a uh, lot of alternative methods like you can use MPN method, you can uh, use turbidimetric method, but uh, most of the uh, most of the suitable methods is uh, dilution method. So MPN method or turbidity method is old methods. And uh, nowadays, these methods are uh, used only food, uh, used in food industry only. In pharma industry, uh, most uh, many of the companies or many of the organizations are using the dilution method only because it is the most effective and most uh, convenient method for the identification or for the enumeration of the total bacterial count on total fungal count. So based on your method validation, you can adopt any method which is suitable to the your product. So it is not mandatory to use this method only. Uh, 
uh, if your product is uh, viscous or uh, your product is uh, in another form you can uh, change or alter your method and you have to prove the suitability of the method and your method if your method validation is uh, proper you can use that method so it is up to you how you method develop and how you prepare your method so whatever whatever the guidelines given or what are the methods given i will forward you that usp ip and ep guidelines uh after this lecture to um, your email id and uh, if you have any query regarding to this you can call me or ask me okay okay so that's all for me uh, because uh, your syllabus also contains non sterile uh, sterile part which is uh, not under my scope so i cannot comment on sterile or endotoxin testing uh, my experience is uh, totally in non sterile product so Uh, it's over to you hello thank you sir ha good afternoon uh, all of you you have if you have any query please ask uh, not understood or uh, please brief this you can ask me is there any queries okay it gives me immense pleasure to give you okay then fine you can continue okay sir it gives me immense pleasure to deliver word of thanks for today's dignitaries who assembled in online as well as offline mode first of all i would like to thanks today's resource person mr sanjay chavan for his excellent uh, session and also uh, thanks to take out time from his busy schedule uh, to grace the event also i would like to thanks our uh, principal dr bt jadhav sir or hod joshi ma'am bios chairman kanse ma'am dr kanse ma'am utekar ma'am wadikar ma'am and i would like to thanks all staff members who assembled in offline as well online mode thank you all of you thank you sir uh, thanks thanks this uh, session is over thank you all of you thank you thank you very much uh, you can reach me out to my mail if you have any query i will send you all the um, uh, guidelines through my mail uh, so you can refer and you can reach me any uh, if any uh, there is any query okay okay sir thank you sir thank you thank you thank you मनीषा मैम हाँ मानसी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून मैडम गुड आफ्टरनून हो आवाज वेलकम टू दिस सेशन एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू स्टार्ट विथ युअर सेशन डिप्लोमा फर्स्ट इयर ओके गाइडिंग अस फॉर डिप्लोमा फर्स्ट इयर सिलेबस दैट इज मैक्रोबियल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल सो नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट मैडम टू प्लीज स्टार्ट विथ अर से Thank you, Mansi. Now I share the screen. Uh, is it visible to you? Yes, madam. Please, can you switch on the video for two minutes? 
Yes. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, today I am going to uh, discuss the syllabus of Diploma One. The Diploma uh, Diploma uh, that is microbial quality control. It has been designed or framed to give the sound knowledge with understanding of microbial quality control in pharmaceutical industries to undergraduate students. So. In first, uh, first year syllabus, uh, very basic uh, principles or, uh, or essentials of microbiology has been incorporated. For semester one, uh, the paper DMIT 101, the title of the paper is Microbial Diversity and Basic Microbial Techniques. So learning objectives of this paper are uh, to understand microbial diversity and role of microorganisms in pharmaceutical industries as well as to study the microscopy, classification of stain, and different types of the staining procedure. The first unit of this paper is based on microbial diversity. It includes the branches of microbiology and a role of microbiology in pharma industries, then a study of different types of microorganisms with their special reference to all related industries. Here we uh, have to explain the general properties of bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and their uh, significance in different types of the industries, including pharmaceutical industries. Then second unit, the title of the unit is Basic Microbial Technique. So uh, under this uh, unit, we have to uh, explain the microscopy as a microscope. It is very basic instrument in microbiology. So uh, this... Uh, unit it includes the different types of the microscope principal components and its uses care and maintenance of the compound microscope the second part of uh, this unit it includes the microscopic examination of bacteria so under this point we have to uh, explain the different uh, staining techniques so introductory part it includes the definition of stain dye mordant and chromogen uh, in next po uh, point, we have to explain the different staining techniques uh, with rega regarding the smear preparation, simple, and uh, two exa one example of differen uh, differential staining is given here, that is gram staining. So here we have to explain the principle or mechanism of gram staining, different theories of the gram staining, and procedure in detail. Learning outcomes of this uh, paper. That is, after completion of this uh, unit, the student is able to know the different types of the microorganisms related to industries and to understand the various basic techniques in microbiological laboratories. These are the reference books for theory paper. Now, uh, practical. So, uh, learning objectives of the practicals are uh, student will be able to know and practice the safety measures while working in the microbiology laboratory and handling of microscope and instruments. Uh, they, are, they will be able to learn the basic things in microbiological laboratory techniques to stain bacteria by different staining techniques to prepare the chemical agents, staining solutions and bacteriological media. So here is the list of practicals. The first practical is general laboratory regulations. Second is study of parts and function of compound microscope. In next practicals, the different laboratory instrument has to be explained. The instruments are incubator, hot air oven, autoclave, colony counter, pH meter, centrifuge, colorimeter, distillation unit, and laminar airflow. These are the very basic or very uh, important um, instruments in microbiology lab. Then a uh, student will learn the preparation of cotton plug, wrapping of pipettes and petri plates and their sterilization by using hot air oven. Next point is use of wire loop and pipette and cleaning of petri plate, pipettes and test tubes. Preparation of standard solutions like normal saline, one normal HCl, one normal NaOH, alcohol. Then preparation of stains like safranin and 10% nigrosin stain. Then preparation of bacteriological media the examples are given here that is peptone water and nutrient broth and their sterilization by autoclaving next is the preparation of bacterial suspension and smear preparation 
morphological study of bacteria by negative staining method morphological study of bacteria by monochrome staining method study of gram nature of bacteria and last one is demonstration of bacterial motility so these are the different practicals in semester 1 learning outcomes after completion of this uh, practical course student is able to know and practice the safety measures while make while working in the microbiology laboratory they will be able to handle microscope and laboratory instruments they get, will gain basic microbiology skill acquired in industry or sorry required in industries and they can perform staining techniques so these are the reference books for practicals now uh, let's see the syllabus for semester 2 the title of the paper dmit 202 is basic microbial microbial techniques part 2 so learning objectives are student will be able to understand the concept of sterilization disinfection and sanita sanitization and ensure cleanliness in working area to know the different techniques of isolation of pure culture and identification of microorganisms unit 1 the title of the unit one is control of microorganisms so under uh, this uh, unit student will learn how to control the growth of microorganisms introductory part includes the definition of sterilization pasteurization antisepsis tindalization microbiostatic effect microbicidal effect then uh, sterilization can be carried out by using or by applying different agents the first uh, agent is our first method is the physical method uh, so under this point sterilization can be done by applying dry heat by moist heat or by filtration while um, uh, under the point of uh, under the method of chem uh, uh, chemical sterilization it includes the definition of disinfection then properties of ideal disinfectant then chemical nature mode of action and application of alcohol formaldehyde phenol halogen and beta propiolactose then type uh, unit 2 pure culture techniques and identification of bacteria so this uh, unit includes the uh, different pure culture techniques introductory part includes the definition of pure cultures then methods of isolation of pure cultures of bacteria it includes the serial dilution techniques spread plate technique and pour plate technique then uh, there are uh, different methods for the isolation of pure culture of fungi next point is the identification of bacteria uh, it includes the cultural characteristics morphological characteristics biochemical characteristics and serological characteristics so uh, let's see the learning outcome of this uh, paper after completion of this paper student is able to study the mode of action application and advantages of chemical and physical sterilizing agents they also uh, uh, they are also able to learn the different methods for isolation and identification of microorganisms these are the different reference books now let's see the practicals dmil 202 learning objectives are uh, students will be able to understand the construction working and application of laboratory equipments determine the efficacy of the disinfectant perform antiseptic sorry aseptic transfer techniques isolate and identify the microorganisms they are also able to study, uh, study the uh, pour plate technique study of spread plate technique isolation and identification of bacteria from soil sorry uh, first slide uh, is ready so here is the uh, list of practical the first practical is preparation and use of disinfectant then determination of efficacy of autoclave third practical is determination of efficacy of disinfectants next practical is sterilization of solution of sugar amino acids by membrane filtration next is the aseptic transfer technique serial dilution of given sample study of stick plate technique then study of pour plate technique study of spread plate technique isolation and identification of bacteria from soil by calling uh, and this uh, to study the colony and cultural characteristics isolation of fungi from a uh, given sample isolation of yeast from given sample and is my mic its microscopic observation next is the microscopic observation of fungi and last one is the detection of bacterial endospore now let's see the learning outcomes of the practicals student is able uh, after completion of this uh, practical course the student is able to observe microorganisms under microscope uh, determine the efficacy of the disinfectants 
learn to critically observe and record the observations of all experiments and isolate and identify the microorganisms. These are the different reference books for the practicals. Uh, students also have to uh, complete the project, a mini project regarding um, the uh, different testing uh, taking place in pharmaceutical industries. So, thank you. Yes, I discussed Raja Selta from Korea. Voice is not clear. Yes, hello. I'm checking my internet connectivity. Ma'am, am I audible to you? Yes, you are clear. Yes, yes, yes madam. Uh, there are no any uh, doubts. Uh, this side for the syllabus so uh, we are moving towards uh, the next part of the session so on behalf of department i extend my sincere gratitude towards you for sparing your valuable time and being with us today and uh, presenting the all nuances of the syllabus of uh, first year diploma course that is microbial quality control so Thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us today. On this occasion, I would also like to express my gratitude towards principal of our institution, Dr. B.T. Zadhav, sir, for encouraging us to uh, organize such kind of faculty development program. I also thank uh, BOS chairperson in microbiology, Dr. S.S. Kansa, madam, for uh, organizing and planning such kind of FDP. I thank uh, Jodi of Microbiology, uh, Mrs. N.S. Joshi, madam, for uh, supporting uh, and encouraging us and all my faculty members who have joined in the online as well as offline mode for this faculty development program. And uh, with today's session, we come towards the end of the 11-day faculty development program that has been started from 1st of the September 2021. And uh, we had a very good sessions uh, right from uh, the distinguished faculty members of the microbiology in Shivaji University area, Dr. Supnekar sir, Dr. N.R. Sheikh sir, Dr. Vishwas Patil sir, as well as the in-house faculty members like Dr. Ghurpade sir, uh, Associate Professor uh, Utekar Madam, Dr. Uh, S.S. Kanse Madam, uh, Mr. Uh, B.S. Pawar Sir, Assistant Professor at uh, the Department of Microbiology, uh, Ms. Manisha Shinde Madam at the Department of Microbiology, and uh, as well as all the faculty members, uh, industrial experts from different industries like Mr. Sanjay Zavan, Lokesh Uttekar, uh, then uh, Bhagyashri Kakade. So a uh, very introspective sessions up till now. So on behalf of department, I extend my sincere gratitude towards everyone who have strived for uh, this uh, faculty development program to be a success. So thank you once again. Thank you everyone with this with the permission of a BOS chairperson, I would like to declare that the FDP program, that faculty development program in microbiology for the year 2021-22 is for semester first is over. So thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. So we are going to, uh, we shall stop over here for today. Thank you, ma'am.